Hello friends, welcome to Reviews by Dennis. And today I'm here to tell you uh, about a new to me product that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, today I'm gonna be uh, unboxing the Jay-Z Brain Laminator. And this is the box it gets in, or comes in. Uh, actually it's, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I, for some reason I thought a laminator would be a lot smaller, but I guess it depends on um, the different types of laminators that are out there. Uh, different laminators are able to handle uh, bigger photos or pictures or documents that you want to laminate. So I guess it's good that this is a good size because this um, goes up to size A3. Um, I didn't know too much about the sizes in respect to uh, laminators, so I had to do a little bit of research to find out some information about that. So what I, what I found out, like uh, with uh, regard to sizes, uh, A3 uh, laminators will do 279 millimeters by 470 millimeters. Uh, that's the size. Anything smaller than that, this could laminate. Uh, anything bigger. Uh, it will not be able to. So with this being a A3, um, being able to handle an A3, it'll handle anything that's A3 or higher, which goes uh, all the way up to A10. It won't be able to uh, do anything that's A0, 1, or 2. Uh, so it'll be able to do A3 through A10. Um, and this is a standard that's set by uh, the paper industry that de determines certain sizes. Um, and basically an A3 is 297 millimeters by 420 millimeters and then a, going all the way down the spectrum to A10 that would be 26 millimeters by 37 millimeters so that's pretty much the size respect uh, that this will be able to handle so it can handle anything that's A3 or higher on that spectrum let's just give this a quick unboxing show you what's inside and uh, help you find out if this item's right for you a couple little flips there Open up, it looks like you got a few pouches inside of some laminated pouches. You see there, it's got some small ones at the bottom and some different sizes. So we'll kind of go through those. Uh, you got your instruction booklet. Doesn't look too big, that's good. Um, all right, it's in English, so that's always nice. And then right away I noticed it's uh, protected by some padding on either side, so that way you know your product's gonna get to you safe. Looks like that's it. Take the pad off in a plastic bag. So real quick in the instructions, I was going through the instructions here and looking at their technical data um, and it has a package contents list which is really nice so I, could, I wanted to let you know um, all the items that you're getting in, in this particular pouch. Uh, and what you're getting is in your complete box you're getting the laminator, the corner cutter, uh, you're getting the user manual and you're getting uh, five pouches that are 12 by 18 you're getting five pouches that are 9 by 14.5 you're getting five pouches that are 3.5 by 5.3 and you're getting five pouches that are 9 by 11.4 uh, so that's really nice that you got a good um, trial amount that comes with it so that way you can help uh, decide um, what you know for different projects and stuff like that. This has a, a lot of great little features I want to bring to your attention that I uh, read about. Uh, first of all it's got your power and ready light on the front here so you'll see those in action um, and then you have uh, a cutting guard which it has a locking mechanism on the back so you just push that I imagine you hold it down and push that to unlock yeah pull it to unlock it and then it allows you to be able to trim your um, different laminated papers so that way you can get as close to your laminated uh, item as you want and then it does have that locking mechanism which is really nice if you have children or uh, you're just clumsy with your fingers you want to make sure you lock that after each use so that way it's uh, safe uh, it has the uh, ABS button there uh, what that's used for typically in laminators is if for some reason your laminated project gets jammed up in there you just flip that over and you'll be able to pull your uh, laminated project out without um, doing damage to the device uh, it also has a little guard here which is really nice to keep your fingers safe uh, and as you notice on the front it's got uh, many different uh, angles so that way and their degrees so that way you know um, the particular uh, angle you want to cut at like if you're looking to cut something at a 45 degree angle you know you can line it up to this right here when you're going through the cutting mechanism and then you'll get a perfect uh, 45 degree angle cut 
so that's really nice. Uh, this is a two roller, I believe. Yep, two roller. Uh, it's got a two to a three to five minute warm up time. Um, let's see, it uh, does hot and cold. Uh, it has an entry width of 330 millimeters and it's got a 430 uh, wattage. Um, it is does do hot and cold as I said and I had to find out what the difference between that is. Um, the heat lamination uh, will uh, fuse them together uh, by heat whereas the cold laminators uh, will just take and um, it just uh, smushes it together. It's kind of like a, a lot of the cold laminated pouches have, um, it's kind of like a glue that bonds together as it goes around them. Uh, so pretty much uh, you can laminate anything with cold. Uh, you don't need an actual laminating machine for cold, but it is really nice because as it goes through, it's going to consistently and evenly um, uh, push out air bubbles so that way it's getting laminated and you're not gonna hopefully have any air bubbles into into your project um, Overall, I think this has got a really nice design. Uh, it's a good size. It looks like it'll sit on a desk really nicely um, And also oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about it, it also comes with a, a corner cutter Which is uh, tucked away nice and neat in the in the back here so that way it's you know out of sight uh, when you're done with your laminated project you will stick your uh, corners into here and just simply push down and it trims the corners so they don't have those sharp pointy edges that a lot of laminated projects have. So I think that's that's a really nice little benefit that the uh, Jay-Z Brain uh, put into their um, product here. Overall, I think it's a nice item. Uh, I'm going to try to give it a demo here and show you how to use this with a couple of projects I got from my daughter and um, hopefully we'll help you decide if this item is right for you or not. Um, so stick around and uh, watch this demo. Now I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on how to use this Jay-Z Brain Laminator. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is select uh, the particular size of laminated paper or lamination that you want to use. I have all the sizes laid out that came with this unit. As you see, you got your largest one here, uh, one over here that's a legal one. This is a standard paper size. And then one that's a little bit smaller like a uh, business card or you know, for other projects. I'm um, just putting a regular size piece of paper in here for comparison, just so you can see the differences. And I have several projects I'm gonna do, uh, one of which is gonna be this one here. Uh, this is something I printed off the internet uh, from a printable site uh, so that I could help uh, teach my child how to uh, tell time. And uh, by laminating this and cutting it out, uh, and putting a uh, pin in the middle there, we're able to uh, protect and preserve this so that way it'll last a lot longer than it would if it wasn't laminated. Then I also have a multiplication table that I have two pieces of paper that I'm going to do. On one side it's got blanks, on the other side it's got all the answers so that way uh, to help learn the multipl multiplication tables uh, it'll be laminated and protected. She can keep this in her book bag and uh, use it as a study guide. And as a third project here I have in a smaller pouch I have a business card and a store card. Uh, the store card I keep losing in my wallet so I'm going to laminate it to make it a little bit bigger. And the business card I'm going to use because if you've ever keep business cards in a wallet it, uh, they get torn and tattered over time and this will help preserve that as well so let's uh, use the laminator and show you how this project these projects work out so after you've selected the uh, appropriate size uh, lamination paper you're going to need uh, you're going to want to get familiar with your actual laminator um, and uh, let me just go over some of the parts with you again as you see this is the face here with all your your angles and um, degrees so that way when you decide if you want to cut your projects before or after uh, to get them to certain size you can do that uh, there's a locking mechanism on the back that will unlock the blade so that way you can trim your uh, projects prior to uh, being laminated or trim them afterwards as well uh, it's real nice that they have the lack on there to protect fingers uh, also there's this ABS button right here I'm gonna just give you a brief introduction to how that works basically when you turn on your unit you're going to see right away it says ready and power. It only says ready because on the side here you have a hot and cold selector as well as the on and off. Uh, it's ready because it's on the cold selector. Um, so I'm just going to run this through as a cold lamination. And when you first start it, you'll feel, you can feel the rollers inside uh, moving. And as you see, it takes the paper. And I'm going to simulate if there was a problem. Uh, and I'm going to switch that ABS button. 
you gotta hold it over to the left and then just pull your project out. If you don't do that, it's gonna pull against the rollers and cause problems. Uh, so that'll help um, hopefully remove a project that you have that's jammed up in your device for some reason. So right now I'm gonna turn on the hot switch on the side and you'll see that ready light goes off and when it is ready, that'll turn back on, and then we're ready to laminate a project. It usually only takes three to five minutes to heat up, so that's a really good quick heat up time. And then you're just gonna wanna, on the lamination paper here, you can see this end here, I know that's the bottom because it's got that little clear gap. So I'm gonna flip it over and just use my thumb to kind of find a gap in these. I'm gonna spread it open and put my paper in here that I wanna laminate. So as you can see, the light came on, so that means it's ready to laminate. Uh, when you do start it heating up, you might notice a, a smell sometimes, because that's heating up. It's kind of like the smell you get from a um, glue gun. Uh, you can smell, you know, it's just the mechanisms of the unit itself heating up. Uh, so I'm going to start at the bottom here where, this, where it's sealed to put it in, and I'm going to try to put it in as straight as possible. And through the magic of uh, camera, I'm going to probably speed this up, because it is a slow process, so that it comes out properly. So here it goes. And there you go. There's my laminated clock. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, you know trim off a little bit on the edge here just to uh, even it up. And basically I'm gonna trim this through here and cut these out by hand. Um, I'm actually gonna trim this right now so that way um, that's ready to go. I'll, so that way I can show you using the actual uh, cutter on here. So let me unlock it. And then you're going to want to line it up all the way over to the edge. We'll make it a 90 degree cut. And you can kind of use this guide when you get it set where you want it. Kind of hold it down. Hold your hand there and this will help protect your fingers as long as you don't go beyond this spot. And then slice down. And there you go. I have my cut for my uh, minute and hour hands here for the clock. So they're ready to go. I just got to assemble this. You know, cut these pieces out by hand and assemble it and it's ready to go. Let me lock this back up. And here's my second project. I'm going to do the little one first. There. As you see. Now my business card's laminated and my store card's protected and bigger so that way I'm not going to lose it in my wallet. And here's my last one. What's nice about this is actually two separate pieces of paper in here. And by doing it like this, it's going to squish them together so that way it really becomes one. There you go. Let me trim this up real quick. Now this is the corner device that comes with it. And basically, you're just going to stick the corner of your item in there. It kind of sets into there. And then it'll just clip. Whoop, let me do it this way. Turn it, put it in the corner, clip, turn the corner, clip, and lastly, clip. As you see, now they have nice rounded edges, so that way it's not going to poke anybody's fingers. So as you see, with this laminated, what makes it really nice is now it's basically can be used with a dry erase marker. So um, it makes it really handy to be able to use this way, and that's really why I wanted to do this as a uh, guide. That's something that can be worked on and uh, reused many times. Uh, this would also be good for um, uh, little little calendars if you're using little lamination sheets like this or big calendars. Uh, you can get one without dates on them and then you can basically reuse them you know, as long as you want. So it makes it really handy. Um, last thing you want to do is make sure you turn off your heat, turn off the power, make sure your blade is locked down so that way no fingers are getting cut. 
And that's really it. Uh, overall, I think this is a really great product. And uh, if you're interested in checking out if this item is right for you or not, check out the link in the description below. And thanks for stopping by today here at Reviews by Dennis. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.